Hello, hope you are having a wonderful July 5th. If you know it, say it with me. I got my coffee, I got my Bible, of course I have you. Happy National Graham Cracker Day. Oh my goodness. I wanna know in the comments below, what is your favorite way to consume a graham cracker? I'm gonna tell you, do you do the graham cracker with the peanut butter on it? Do you do the graham cracker with just with, with chocolate on it? How about a s'more? Is that your favorite way to consume a graham cracker? I tell you my favorite way is I love to take a graham cracker and I love to put it in the microwave for like five seconds just to soften it a little bit. Put a little peanut butter on top of it. Lord, the God is good. Praise the Lord, I'm telling you. Happy graham cracker day. I guess that means you can have graham crackers and they are calorie free, carb free, and protein full. I don't know, but uh, it is so good to see you. I wanna tell you about a movie I watched one time. I watched this movie and in this movie, there was this deal where, and this, at this time I was dating my now wife, and it was this deal where there was this guy he always wanted to get connected with this lady and they were, you know, this situation, blah, 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 blah. And it was this deal and they, they found out we were trying to get together the whole time, right? And so the whole movie was about them uh, starting to date and then to fall in love. And then the movie ended with them getting married. And I remember when I was dating my wife, I was like, you know, if we can just get married Everything is going to be all right after that. That's the big deal. If we can just have our wedding day, we're going to ride off into the sunset. It's all going to be good, all right? And then it happened. Wedding day. Oh, my goodness. I have my tux like I liked it. My wife was beautiful in her wedding dress. All of the people were there. We had our wedding. My dad officiated the wedding. We actually received communion at our wedding. It was Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Went off into the sunset and then life began. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter how much you love each other, you have disagreements. Things happen and life smacks you inside of the head and you realize that life is a journey and there's gonna be good days and there's gonna be bad days. So you best get ready for it, right? Well, that's what I thought of when I read Acts chapter two. I'm gonna tell you something. Acts chapter 2 is a long chapter. It was, it was a lot to read when I read this because there's a lot that happens. I mean, when I, I want to know in the comments below, what did you get out of this? And I'm, I'm not going to do a lot of the ones I would have picked because I want to save it for you, but man, there's a lot. I mean, the Holy Spirit comes down the day of Pentecost. Um, they, they think they're drunk when they leave because they're all so excited to speak in other languages. And, and Peter, the guy who, uh, I mean... You might not would have expected, and then maybe you would have. He gets up, and he just bowl The people who had like 40 days earlier had killed Jesus, he stands up in front of them and says, oh, y'all done it now, all right? And he tells them what's going on. These people are cut to the heart, it says they're convicted. And he says, Re you know, receive salvation. I mean, all this is going on. And it was 3,000 people that day got saved. Oh, my goodness, 3,000 people. And then it starts talking about how they start doing life together. And if you were to read the end of chapter two, you would think, well, there you go. I mean, they just, that's the end of the book of Acts and they all lived happily ever after. I mean, it says this in, in Acts uh, chapter two, verse 46 and 47, it says they worshiped together in the temple each day and met in homes for the Lord's supper and shared their meals with great joy and generosity. And all while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. The end, right? I mean, it's like, it's like the movie. It's, if I'm just getting married, I'm going to go off into the sunset and it's all going to be over. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, and yeah, right that that's the end of this. They haven't even experienced everything yet. And that's one of the dangers of, I think sometimes the culture we're in today is we forget that movies aren't real. You know, we forget that stories and things, they're, they're not real. At the end of the day, yes, the, the curtain comes down in the movie, but life goes on. And that can leave some of us feeling so very disenchanted, disheartened, because we think that life is not supposed to have any problems, but 
unfortunately, some of the greatest victories come out of a season of pain. I like to think about it like this. The only way you're gonna get bright and beautiful flowers is if you make sure and give them good fertilizer. Fertilizer is manure, right? So it's with the manure that you get the brightest, most beautiful flowers. And so sometimes the mess is important to create something beautiful. And that's what spoke to me in this is, thank goodness that the end of chapter two wasn't the end of what God did in the early church because what's going to happen from this is you're going to see the church is gonna deal with all kinds of persecution. They're gonna deal with difficulties and issues and things, but through that, God begins to do more and more and more because there's this one point when the early church, they just wanna stay in Jerusalem. They wanna to go to the temple. They wanna worship God together and do all that. But guess what? There's a big old world out there that needs to hear about Jesus. And so you know what ends up happening? It's persecution comes down on the church in Jerusalem, which causes these people to scatter. And guess what they take with them? The gospel. And so sometimes what you think of as something bad, it's not bad, it's all part of the plan. And so I just, it encouraged me to realize that our life is not supposed to be a ride off into the sunset. Our life is a day in and day out experience with God. And as we grow in Him, we realize that He's worth pursuing in our life. And I don't know, it just really hit me that our life isn't supposed to be the end of this chapter. There's a whole lot more to come, but it's a great adventure. And that's what I think of when I think of my relationship with God, is it's not good and bad, it's everything. There's good moments, there's difficult moments, but it's part of the great adventure called following Jesus. I love it so much. I want to know what you got out of Acts chapter 2. I don't know what it's going to be. I'll tell you what I do know. I do know that Jesus loves you. He's for you more than you can imagine. You're probably doing better than you realize. You know why? Because you got up one more day. You know what else I know? God has not changed his mind about you. I can't wait to see what you think about the next chapter. It's going to be a really, really good one. I look forward to seeing you here tomorrow right here on Daily Hope.